today I've got my thoughts on NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4. And I still actually have to watch um, a little bit of the ma some of the matches. But I, got the, I was able to get the results for all the matches. And we'll start off just going through the card. We'll start off with the tag match. Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong and uh, Kyle O'Reilly taking on Mustache Mountain, which consists of um, Trent Seven and Tyler Bate. And that match was fine. I actually still have to watch it, so this thoughts won't be too accurate, probably. I wish that Bate and Seven would have won the titles because I'm sick of the Undisputed Era. Just like I'm sick of Shayna Baszler as champion for as NXT Women's Champion, which we'll get onto that. But for the tag title, for what I saw, it was a good match, and I think NXT has a way better tag division than the main roster, so that's kind of why I like that one. Now we'll move on to the NXT North American Championship match, Adam Cole versus Ricochet. Ricochet does crazy things, and that's why I like him. He's like a younger version of Jeff Hardy. But, yeah. And so we finally have a new North American champion. And that's kind of nice because Ricochet deserves the t he deserved at least one title run before he um, was called up to the main roster. Which, he'll get waste If he's used this good in, the, in NXT, he'll get wasted on the main roster. Unless your name is Ronda Rousey. Oh, my. But, yeah. That match was good, and we'll move on to the NXT Women's Championship match, which was probably my favorite match of the whole card because Shayna's just extremely overrated, and so I was, just like with Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar, I was basically praying that Shayna would lose her title, and Kyrie deserved the title after winning the Mae Young Classic a year ago. And then getting screwed out and never getting her title opportunity until now. She should have had gotten her title opportunity to take over New Orleans. But she had to wait until take over Brooklyn to get it. But at least she got a, at least she got a shot at the title and she made it worth it. And they put on one of the best matches of the night. And then, um, so Kyrie gets the win. And so that's a good thing. And now we'll move on to the final match, which is the NXT Championship match. Champa versus Gargano. Three. Four if you count their match, the Cruiserweight Classic. But technically, it was one to one. Gargano and Champa each having a victory over each other. And then Champa kind of, well, Gargano goes nuts and legitimately injures himself in the end of the match. Isn't so unable to make it the count of 10. And somehow Champa is able to make get on his feet when he's handcuffed to part of the stage. Which is crazy. And they had some really great spots in that match. And that's why I love NXT. It's just way better than the main roster shows. Which I'll do a separate thoughts video for SummerSlam. But... That's pretty much my thoughts on NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 4, and you guys can tell me what you think of it in the comment section below, and just like and subscribe for more, because I will do more in the future.